prepared to find Shanko, where's the net? Hello? I'm sorry. Was you in space? Yeah, hmm? I guess I was, in a way. <laughs> well, you must be exhausted. No, I'm good, I'm very good. Good. You know what? Happy day, happy day, happy day. And this is just a prequel. <sighs> Long ago and far away in all of her favorite songs. Jeez, that extension actually. Is that yours? No, I've never seen it before. I thought it was yours. Mm -mm. Well, mysterious object, I guess. But actually, I've seen this in the Times today. We're in the Times? Mm hmm. Look at that. Well, it's not his apartment in Central Park, Brownstone Building, remote kitchen, one bedroom, small study, marble fireplace. Of course, they didn't mention that the fireplace is not working. But, but how do you know it's us? Well, well it's not his new park fireplace. It's only like us. Okay, and another mini apartment, that's true. But somehow I got this feeling they were talking about us, you know? A woman disappeared. A woman what? Did you see that in the paper? A woman in our neighborhood disappeared. Our neighborhood or this neighborhood? Anybody we know are going to take off Facebook. <laughs> Somebody. So weird. Oh, yeah. Ruth, somebody. Her husband came home. Pots were co cooking on the stove. TV was on. Her clothes were even still in her cupboard. She was just gone. Well, that's still more reason to move. You can't just live in a neighborhood where people are to do that clearing on you. Vanished without a trace. Well, you know, she probably <coughs> ran off of a ski instructor or... No. She got caught in a time loop or an alternative reality. Anyway, I should be back. Even in an alternative reality, you need to change your thoughts. But I mean, she's gotta be somewhere. Even if you disappear, you don't just disappear. You're in a pretty spooky mood tonight, aren't you? But, do you care for a celebratory glass of wine at the whole homestead? Sure. Well, that's not the most convincing reading of the line I've ever heard. Yes, please. I'd love some wine. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. But do these people say when they were coming, the Phantom Apartment Seekers? No, just tonight sometime. See, like, I don't, I don't know why we have to wait for them. I mean, I told Tony about we'd go out and, you know, celebrate. But the meaningful question for tonight being is, do we go to the Empire Pagoda for the comparable courses of noodles or to the Empire Valley for the killer mushu bark? Hmm? Anyway, we need some place conducive to dissecting this latest fate of bad movies. Oh, especially the Estonian one this in us too. Are you absolutely sure you're okay? I'm splendid. <coughs> I've always say so. Alright, cheers mate. Two better days. Why better days? Well, the new apartment, the great future ahead of us. The fact that I got insulted today in the street. I mean, days got to be better than that, right? You got insulted? Yeah, I did. On our street? Today, yeah. But I don't even... Oh, maybe, maybe. This was a metaphysical experience. Maybe. I hallucinated it. Anyway. I'm coming up the street, and the half ahead of me, I see a couple sitting on a doorstep mm -hmm. about what? Halfway down the block? Yeah. A woman and a woman. Uh, homeless people? Nah, just probably ordinary day looking people. Okay, probably homeless. <laughs> anyway, the guy sees me coming, so he nudges the woman, so mm -hmm. all the time I'm walking by, I can feel them looking at me, you know? Yeah. But all this while, I still say nothing. So, 
I say long and I'm about what? Two feet past them? When I hear the guy turn to the woman and he says, see what I mean? See what, see what I, I mean? What the hell is that supposed to mean? And if I'm the punchline of somebody's story, I kind of like to know what it's all about. It's insulting or what? And even more insulting because I don't even know what that means. <sighs> Any wisdom, speculation, facts? Do you know what I think I just realized? What? You're the woman on the doorstep? Nah, come on, tell me. I think I only just realized that this is reality. Excuse me, did you, did you just say this is reality? I think I only just realized that I exist. You mean tonight or No, I, I mean, lately so often it's like there are these, these moments of illumination when, mm -hmm. when just for a second or two I realize and I mean, I really realize that, that this, that all this is really here and that it exists and that I am somehow part of it. I, I don't know, just it recently hit me that when philosophers talk about the nature of reality, they're, they're not just talking about words or ideas, but they're, they're talking about things like this box or, or this pen in my hand, which are all real. I am in the universe. It's, it's so strange. We're, we're on this large, empty hole, a billion years old and a trillion light years across, and, and I am standing on a tiny piece of a small rock flying through it. We are, everybody is, right now, at this instant. I exist. And this, this pen exists and it's sitting in my hand, in my living hand. Okay. Right. <laughs> Just click your heels off your ruby slippers together and say there is no place like home, there is no place like home. Oh, go to hell. Go to hell? Come on, Mara. This is reality? This is fucking New York. This is, this is hell. This is your life for Buff Edwards, maybe, but this is reality? I'm in the universe? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean not to take you seriously. Oh, nice job, Brooke. <sighs> it's just when somebody says this is reality, all you're saying is from this doctor sounded just right, no? I mean, what's the proper repost to this is reality, yeah? Now, why does everything always have to be a repost? Why does everything always have to be a snappy answer? Well, a little snap takes this thing out of reality. This be the only reality, and, and I, I've known you to snap our necks on your time and be the original repost woman. But listen, if you want to take up philosophy as a basketball hobby on top of an already lucrative career, I think, go for it, honey. Back you up. Okay, okay, I was being tried, so shoot me. I can't shoot you. You wouldn't exist anymore. <laughs> and hey, what am I going to do with all the furniture, huh? I mean, we finally get a bigger apartment and then, bam, she dies on me. Oh, great. Thanks very much. But you know what? What? This pen still exists in my hand. In, in my, my living hand. hand. Thank you. Well, you know, maybe we could sell this to Parker and Hans. A new bottom line fountain pen. It doesn't work well, but definitely does exist. <laughs> too big or not too big? Doesn't spirit. But, I said, you know what you need in your present mood? What? 2D glasses. Listen to this, you love it. When the shit is hitting the fan at the speed of light, you just pop me on it. Hey, no problem. I'm in a movie. And actually, that's perfect for people with reality jitters like yourself. No, what's the matter? Nothing. Okay, okay. Here's another speculation, since you're in a philosophical mood. Do you know how the secret purpose of bees is to pollinate flowers? Well, has anybody ever thought that the secret purpose you can be of, sorry, of human beings is to pollinate furniture? I mean, look, let's put an icing on a, on a, on a chair. And then uh, I go and sit on another chair. And then another seat is born overnight. Be quiet for one minute, please. Sorry, was I babbling again? I'm sorry. It's, 
I mean, don't you sometimes, well, sometimes I think I live in the world, but I don't know anything about it. Even after all these years, I, I still don't know the first thing about the world. In fact, I don't know anything about anything. Lately, some days, it just feels like my life is just going to go on and on and on and on like this, and then stop. But what's this, and what's wrong with this? Well, no, nothing. I... Uh, I mean, we're doing great, Laura. We're doing fine. As always. We're fine. Well, that's, that's definitely not the most convincing reading of the line I have well, ever you yourself said I you just, I did, and I... Implying things aren't as perfect as they could be. You know, it's like tonight. We'll go out with Tony and Bea, and we'll argue about which restaurant to go to, as if it was important. And then we'll talk about movies, and oh, we'll be very clever and have lots of snappy answers. And then we'll discuss and compare the food we're eating, and the food we've had last week, and the food we're planning to eat, and the movie reviews in the Times. And then, and then we'll all go home, and everything will be as it always was until the next time we meet to talk about restaurants and movies. Well, there's nothing wrong per se with restaurants and movies. Come on, Laura, you're a dirge. We're moving, okay? I've seen the future, and it is Riverside Drive. And it's going to be great. But what if they never find that woman? What? This Ruth. What if he's never explained what happened to her, and, and she really does vanish without a choice? Okay, okay. Uh, um, help me out there, because I think I missed the chapter. Brooklyn. Maybe, maybe we should move. Wait, what? Should we move? Okay, uh, prep the bridge slowly, Laura, because I think we're sliding oh, right we've now. We've been in this place a long time. We like this We're place. moving, okay? No, actually, we have moved. And, and, and we haven't been in this place all that long. We've been here long enough. Hey, what about what about well, little fit a party all around us, huh? We will need more room at that moment. But this place is... Yes, yes, yes. This place is us. This place will always be us and all the good time us have had here. But I also know that we spend a huge amount of time in... In trouble to find a new place that we like and can afford it. You know what? I don't think you have reality Jesus. You, you got moving panic. You know that weird feeling that settles over you before you leave a place. <coughs> but you can be in a. You can be happy in another place, Laura. Have you been happy here? Yes, yes. I have been happy here. Are you happy now? Well, no, not right now. Right now, I'm talking rather loudly, trying to remind you that this is us. Remember us? And what is that? Get off your head, woman, and you very good to send me off of mine! Okay, Laura, what can I do? Just talk to me, okay? My father died this miserable, ugly death and then vanished without a trace. My mother vanished, and you and I will vanish too, along with a billion other people. But they didn't vanish, they died. Some days, it's, it's like my life is made up of this incredibly thin white tissue like a wall of very fine gauze, and the events of my life are being projected on it. Woman brushing teeth, woman sitting behind her desk. And this membrane is so thin, it's, it's like I could reach out and push my finger right through it. And what would I see if I were to push I through that fabric? What would I see on the other side? But then I think, no, this is reality. You know what? Maybe you do need to de-glasses because in your case, you're already halfway there. In your case, probably one de-glasses. Jesus Christ, Lord. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to be here, Laura, okay? This, this is a mood. Nothing is different. You know, all Weird. my life, I guess I just realized this too. All my life, I've somehow taken it for granted that everything would be explained someday. Like, 
I'd get to the last chapter and I'd find out who the killer was or, or a messenger would arrive and explain to me why this happened to me when I was 12 or whatever happened to some book I lost when I was 15 and what this all meant. But that's never gonna happen. You don't find these things out. You never find anything out. Yeah. Life is a mystery that's very profound. Fuck you. Fuck me? Let's go to hell now, fuck you. All in one night? Really? That was a sorry, Laura. Fuck you. What the hell am I supposed to tell you? That everything's being spent someday? That the nature is going to calm down with the winning of love in it? Well, you know what? I don't think it's gonna happen. Well, that won't be explained. Listen, I agree with you, okay? We each just in a dark and mysterious universe. We don't know anything about anything. Does that make you feel better? So now, what do you say we had to Tony and Blas and we won't talk about restaurant and movies, we'll talk about whatever you want, we we'll even talk philosophy. This is not fun. Up. This is not philosophy, Brooke. This is not some mood. Yes. This is my life. Yes. This is my life. And what am I supposed to do to make your life better, huh? You know what? I, I refuse to be brought down. I will not be brought down because I was feeling so good. How can I convince you that anything is different or worse that, than it was yesterday? Look, just why don't you go and uh, I'll, I'll wait for these people. But forget these people, fuck them. I'll finish packing, you just oh, go yeah. on. Yeah, you finish packing. Uh -huh. I'm not even that hungry. Lousy company tonight. Okay, um, well, um, these boxes need to take up and... You can um, also um, put what's the matter now. I just thought you wouldn't have done this when we first met or even a year ago. You would have stayed here and waited with me. I just. Oh, Jesus. Look, I'm not saying this to accuse you. I'm just. What saying, is that? Huh? I'm saying. A form of things prey? Changed. Things were better. When? Better days. Oh, you just set me up, Laura. I did not set you up. You fucking offer like to stay here and pack up and then like you're accusing me of going away? It's not what I mean. So maybe I get an explanation of what you mean when the fucking messenger arrives. I'm going now. Bye. Do you know what? Oh, just... By the way, oh, I was just wondering if I could look at your apartment. Yeah, of course, I'm sorry. Uh, come in. Really, come. I'm sorry to bother you. No bother, I, uh, I knew you were coming to me. You know what's coming? The agent told us. By the way, I'm, I'm Laura. And I'm sorry, your name is? Jeff. Hi, Jeff. By the way, is it raining out? You're, you're completely drenched. Should I take your coat? Jack? Yes, it's raining out. By the way, I, I thought there was going to be two of you. I mean, they said husband and wife. No, just me. Oh. Well, um, oh, this is uh, this is the place. Living room, obviously. Uh, the fireplace is over there, though it doesn't work, unfortunately. Though most of the shutters still work. Um, bedroom and small study down the hall, and our kitchen and bathroom are off to the left. Well, that's 
pretty much it if you maybe want to take a look around. God, oh God. The, the rent is pretty steep. I don't know if they told you that. By the way, how did you get in the building? It's a pretty safe building and usually you usually have to buzz people in. The fireplace doesn't work? Contrary to the ad it did once. Um, but listen, Jack, it's getting kind of late and uh, as you can see, we're right in the middle of packing here. So I'm gonna have to let you go soon. My wife will be back in a second. You can't keep on eating like this. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck! Jack, you have to go now. I don't want to have to call somebody. The fireplace used to work and all the shutters. There was a kitchen over there. Just a tiny little... You couldn't really stand in the kitchen and open the refrigerator at the same time. So you used to live here once? And there was a bathroom over there. With a beautiful, bright red door. Very red. Taking a trip down memory lane tonight, huh? And this was the whole place. There weren't other rooms. This was it. And it seemed enormous. Couch, chair, rug over here, Turkish rug. Table, books, and books. And the bed over here. Over here. This was where we used to make love, right on this spot, right here, right here. In nights like this, we will build a fire, close up all the shutters, take our clothes off, drink wine and talk philosophy all night in bed. The meaning of life, do you understand the meaning of life? Yes. Ruth found this old record somebody had left behind. We used to play it over and over and over again. Long ago and far away. Long ago and far away. There was the whole rest of the universe. And this one little place. And the two of us in it. Warming our hands at each other. Everything led to here, to this room and the two of us. Talking, talking and talking. About the meaning of life. It was paradise. And Ruth, where is she? Paradise. Yes, I am here to look at the... Well, this is the room. Sorry about the mess. The last time I left all these behind. I'm, I'm really sorry, but I, I don't quite understand. The this. people who lived here before, they left all these things. Well, I get that. It's a single room studio apartment. You can see the bedroom through here. You've got a new toilet, a new plumbing and sink. You can see the kitchen through here. It's pretty small. But everything works. I pay heater water, you pay electric. Rent is $80 each month, pay one first. If you're really interested, I can give you an application form. Suppose you have references. Um, references? Do you have a job? Are you working? I used to have a job. I'm not sure I have it anymore. So you're out of work? I don't know. Look, I'm, I'm not crazy. It's always the crazy one who say that. <laughs> <laughs> I see a ring on your finger. This means you're married. 
Hey, you see Mary? So where is he? He just sort of disappeared. Got any kids or? No kids. So you're just looking for yourself? Look, um, I'm really sorry, but do you mind if I just, just sit down and uh, think about all this? I got some hours to come to look at your room. So if you really want to room, you better say so. I can't promise anything and I can wait forever. Yes. Yes what? I want the room. I'll take it. You will take the room. Just like that. I think I could be happy here. The shutters work, don't they? Shutters work. Everything. I could, I could put a couch here, chair, Turkish rug. And the bed will go right here. Who knows, this could be paradise. I'm going to need something in France if you don't have a job. I can find a job, really. Well... Look, I'm a good tenant, I promise. Why don't I get an application form and we'll talk about it. Your name is? My name is Ruth. Ruth. Yeah. I can be happy here. Sorry. Laura? Laura? Laura, listen, honey. Laura, listen, I just want to... Um, sorry, um, who are you? Are you there um, to look at the apartment? Would you take this? Give it to somebody. What's that? to explain everything. 